A couple days ago, Xpeng showed us on the AI Days 2025 the new Hiren version 2.0 that worked like a model. Most of the people thought that it was a human inside of a suit. So Xpeng even decided to make a video showing that it's not a human, it is in fact Iron version 2.0. So let's look at this first video and then let's talk a little bit about this. And here it is, the video where Mr. He Chai Peng decided to show some comments uh, that were made on top of the video that Xpeng released on the Iron, saying that it was a person. So they decided to make this video. Let's watch it together. <laughs> 这里面是真人, it must be a real human. Zoom in and you can see the outline of an ear. This is another comment. The hips seem to have muscles moving. It even looks like it's wearing underwear. <laughs> real flesh underneath. There's a robot walk like this, making fun that it was a real person inside and it was a fake robot. So Xpeng decided to make this video. Do we have again? When I look at this, I see a robot walking. I know that it's very close already with human walking, but I see still the clumsy. But I understand that people, and we are in internet, uh, can think that someone is pretending that it's a robot inside. So let me just move a little bit. Uh, okay, it will start in the So they will undress the human. Nikan,皮肤下面是肌肉。如果你觉得这个肉里面还有人,那你看看这只手。There is another video, let me show you another video where they cut the leg of the robot to show that there is a real robot down there. But here it is, the other video that I mentioned. So the robot is walking, you see that it's the same walking. Um, so it does walk like a model, it crosses his legs a little bit. So it's really nice. Let me just move a little bit forward where they are cutting there the skin on the leg. Not tried cutting its skin and muscles while the robot is powered on. So in the last hour, we decided to do this. Our robot team was very opposed. They were worried it might <laughs> fall. They were worried it might get damaged. Anyway, how about giving them a round of applause? This is tough for the uh, engineering team taking care of this because you can imagine that these so are still prototypes, these are still uh, robots one. that cost a lot of money and doing these exercises it's just for the sake of showing because, to the public you know, that uh, it's not a human person inside, it's not really their topic. The so they are worried about programming and constructing, making the construction of well a robot. And these outside. type of things are just nonsense for them. I, I understand what they are thinking because I was an engineer also. So every time people doubt on my work, it was a little bit... Um, I was not happy with that. And, and doing this, it's not basically their job. And taking the risk of making the robot fall and break something, it's a lot of money that it's in there. Um, so I understand why they are not happy. And, but this needs to be done because if people doubt this in the beginning, they will doubt until the end. 
so you can see that they just cut out the leg all the exterior parts and now you can see that it's still walking and it's clearly not the person that it's walking and it's still the same walk it's still the same movements so i, I think now with these a uh, couple of videos that xpeng put uh, out it's clear that it's a robot it's clear that xpeng did innovate and created this new level of walking that it's well, most of people say that the most difficult part of creating a robot is in fact the movement to be clearly humanoid style, so to be very close to what a human uh, looks like. And this is the main objective of every robot that it's being designed until now. And I did believe I do believe that Xpeng did achieve um, a real thing here uh, with these movements, okay? And I am really curious about the uh, innovation and next robots that will be presented after this, because we know that now it's Tesla and um, Xpeng that are more or less fighting we, if we, we in the same uh, place. And um, you know, and I, I have to say this, that um, the robot of Tesla was already very interesting. It was already very cool. But the walking is not at this level, but they will present another one, uh, version 3, if I'm not mistaken, uh, next year. So I am very curious because I'm sure that Elon Musk is now pushing the limits of their engineering team on the robots to push them to make something even more cooler. And then Xpeng will have to do also that. So this will be a very nice time to see humanoid uh, robots to be created and um, to be uh, arriving to the market. Here we are on X and you can see here, so people talking about this. So Humanite Hub saying the Xpeng Next Gen Iron robot effectively crossed the Ankavi Valley, leading many to believe it was a human in a suit. And this is the video that I just show you uh, when they are cutting the leg to show that it is real a uh, robot. This is insanely leap, the most human-like humanoid robot in history designed by the Chinese company Xpeng. And you can see here it's also walking completely naked, completely naked. Come on. Um, no person inside Iron Robot, says Xpeng's Hi Chaiopeng in response to speculation. So you can see that there was um, really a big fuse on these and people starting that it is um, real or a person inside. So they are showing now that it was a robot. When Xpeng Iron gracefully approaches you, Tesla Optimus, how will you greet her? This is a nice um, uh, approach. So you know that um, Xpeng decided to make it look like a female and Tesla Optimus, that it's the humanoid robot of Tesla, looks like a man. So <laughs> how are you going to interact with each other? Are we going to see the first romance in humanoid history? Let's see. Another uh, here, uh, Xpeng robot announced the robot so good people are suspicious of a human in suit. So as you can see, this was the first iron. Okay, so this was the iron that I met in uh, AIA, um, uh, Ch China is far more advanced than the US, this is Hiron, um, already building EV cars on the Xpeng Motors factory floor, it has over 60 joints, a human-like spine, facial expressions, and male-female customizations, so mass rollout in 2026, are we cooked? No man, we are not. Here we have also our friend Arthur, that um, is a Xpeng G9 user. You saw him already in some of my videos and he's a good friend of mine that also posted a lot of content about the Hiron, Xpeng Hiron, as you can see here on X. You can follow him, you have here the handle. Um, and he did publish a lot and you can see that there was a lot of uh, attention to his uh, posts also about the irons and as a final remark it seems that elon musk liked the new release of xpeng iron so it seems that elon musk was taking notes also on this matter okay guys let's talk now about this uh thing okay. put everything away it can go around and water the plants outside or inside 
on a perfect schedule and it never forgets a single plant. And then it'll go around and vacuum and tidy up the house if anything gets left Looks out. Looks really it great, right? It always knows right? where everything is. It can find the TV remote and it'll basically actively uh, do these, all the these chores videos, these that clips you know you have to do, the, but you um, don't actually want to do. And when robots, it's done, okay? it goes back to us. Go to this website right now and you can pick between three colors and then it's either 500 bucks a month subscription for a standard delivery, or you can pay a flat $20,000 to own it outright Guys, but and get the, priority the delivery. Price Just is drop not a $200 fully refundable deposit to get in line. The topic pay, is how this works. deliveries in the US start Just for people who, the idea of saving a few hours on chores every week so that they can use that time to make more money actually makes logical sense. Like people really think like that. It's for early adopters. It's for, it's for people who want to spend however much they think it's worth on this brand new novel thing, that's fine. But my issue with this product is the gap between what it's actually capable of today and what they're promising as they take your money today. Yeah, so this, this is a topic because you will see how this is uh, working. I already saw these videos, so I already know what this is uh, gonna be um, in the future or what they are promising. But this is really crazy because you can uh, start thinking first, isn't this the same of having a normal person doing these chores for you? So what would be the reason why you are not getting a real person to execute these jobs, these tasks for you at your home? And you prefer then to buy a humanoid robot to do it. Expect that this robot has some sort of built-in artificial intelligence that allows it to recognize objects and navigate around on its own and learn your house and be productive for those hours while you're gone. And that I think would be a reasonable thing to get out of watching that video because that's what it's designed to show. That's what you're supposed to feel. That's the dream. Yeah. But that's not actually what's happening. So Joanna Stern, the legend, she did a video with this Neo robot also this week where the company showed her all of the things that it could do. And turns out, 100% of the things that they showed her were remotely controlled by a human in another room wearing a <laughs> VR headset with controllers. That's not exaggerating. 100% of the stuff they showed her. The carrying things around, the loading up the dishwasher. I mean, God, guys, uh, it's, look at this It's thing. a really hard to see. This is really hard to see. Yeah, all of this is teleoperated. And this was a demo set up by this one X company. So this is like best case scenario stuff. And I see a lot of people defending this robot online, like, oh, you know, no, there's probably other things that it can do autonomously. They just didn't show her yet. Really? You, you don't think they would show her the best stuff that this could do autonomously to keep selling the dream? So guys, I just wanted to show you this part because I do believe that there is real development and there is just scam. Okay, and I'm sorry to say this, I don't want to offend this company because I, I do believe that it can have um, a way, um, their path, but they are trying to sell a dream, something that it's not possible still. Um, it's, it's not normal that you buy um, a robot that you expect to do things autonomously, uh, shores in your home, but then at the end, you are paying just for a machine that it's operated by not that guy. It's going to be operated, if this grows a lot, it's going to be operated by a low-cost um, interface human person that it's going to be seated or in a room making and looking at your house because it will be a person inside your house, even remotely, looking at your stuff and executing then the chores in that way. So I don't believe this is the dream, okay? Because if you want to put someone strange and uh, you don't even know who that person is on your house while you are away to execute the tasks in this way, I would bet that you prefer to pay a local person to do those tasks locally that you know that you recognize every single day. So for me, I don't think this is a real market. Uh, I, I believe that they are trying to 
uh, grab attention of people because people are looking to Tesla and looking now to XPeng with very advancements uh, in robotics, in humanoid style robots that can execute tasks. And they are trying to fill the gap between, because they know that these humanoid um, robots cannot execute tasks at households for now because it's not possible. The technology is not in that state yet. So they are trying to put a product outside in the world that they can get money from people because they will think that they are buying a robot, but at the end, they are not. So I don't want to call that this a scam, but this is not real. So people be careful with these type of solutions. Look at the innovations that XPeng and also Tesla are putting on the market. Um, they are pushing themselves to be better, to create something uh, new, unique, that it will be the future for sure. We cannot avoid this. We will get robots and humanoid machines um, walking around us in the future, uh, driving our cars, uh, getting and executing chores. So uh, that those videos and movies that you already saw about the future, they will be real. And the humanoid robots will be very close to look alike uh, as us, but not in this way. So be careful with that and that's it. So the idea of this video was, of course, not talk about XPeng cars. It was to talk a little bit about the robot and the innovation that the XPeng company is making. And I am really excited about that and I hope you are also. So thank you very much again for watching this video. My name is Ugu. This is the XPeng G6 Diaries, even though that this video is not about cars. If you like my content, just subscribe to it, leave your like, leave your comment, tell me what you think about these humanoid robots, what you think it will be the future using these type of solutions. I know in some videos that many people said I want the woman robot, but let's try to be <laughs> more focused on the technology itself and let me know what are your feelings about this and thank you again for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye, guys.